Okay. This is the free character in the DAS application. Currently, the character has no animation applied to it. I can either create the animation manually by setting up keyframes on the timeline, or I can use existing animation files and apply them to the character. It turns out that I have a whole library of existing animation files in a format called BVH format. This is sort of a neutral format which contain bone and translation information. And in this particular case, uh, these BVH files are animation files for Poser and Daz characters. So they are made for the proper skeleton structure. So I'm going to look for something interesting. I've got lots of ballet dances there, but this character is not very well suited for ballet. So let's take something different. Jog to fast walk. Open the file, select all default option. And Daz will bring in the animation and apply it to the character. You've got the character here and you can see that he's going to go up. He's going away jogging. So I'm going to change my camera to get a better view. Left view. There's my character. Let's see what it is. Look at this. This is freak jogging into a motion that's called walk to fast jog. So that's what I want. So I'm going to stop this, go back to first frame, go to file, select export, choose the alias motion builder FBX export, and then give a name to my file. I'll call it the freak. Press save. Now this is a panel that's very, very important. The first thing you want to make sure is you select custom light wave version here that this this radio button is activated which it is you need export as binary embed texture you deactivate uh, the other default options here you don't need cameras you don't need lights you don't need props you really want just the figure and uh, you make sure you've got the animation or pose set here so you bring in the animation into the into the 3d exchange 4 program so you see accept Daz is generating the FBX file for you. And the next step will be to go in Reillusion 3D Exchange 4 and load this character into the program so we can proceed with the conversion to the iClone format. Now that you generate a freak.fbx file, you need to invoke iClone 3D Exchange 4, locate the file, open it. In the import dialog, make sure you have import animation checkbox set because if you don't, you will not be bringing in the animation. Click OK. OK again. The character lies sideways. This is simply because the default XYZ uh, axis orientation is different in DAS than in iClone. In order to correct this, simply rotate the character 90 degrees on the Z axis, like this. The next thing I usually do is press the Align to Ground button to bring the character at the origin. You will notice that you have 1,355 frames loaded. This means this FBX file contained animation information. The next thing to be very careful is to tell the iClone 3D Exchange 4 program if you want this to be an iProp or a character. And you really want this to be a character. So you go down here and you say convert to character. Click OK. OK again. Now, what you've done here, you've told 3D Exchange that you wish this to be a non-human character as opposed to an iProp. And the behavior of 3DS change will be different for characters than props. For props, the animation information is stored inside the iProp file. For characters, the 3D Exchange 4 program will actually generate three files. The .iAvatar file, the .imotion file for the motion segment that's in here, and the .ini file that will tell iClone about the skeleton structure 
for this avatar. The last thing to do is really to name the clip, the motion clip, with something meaningful. So I will call this the freak walk, like this. Because remember, 3D Exchange will generate a .imotion file. So in this case, it will be called the freak walk .imotion file. Then go to the export menu, click export. Make sure you have all selected here so that you export geometry as well as animation. Select the iClone content folder, which is actually the customs iClone content folder, and select the iClone content folder for the motion as well, which is also the customs content folder. So 3D Exchange will generate three files again, a .iAvatar in the character subfolder of the iClone 4 customs folder, and a .ini file in the same folder as the avatar, and a .imotion file in the dufreak sub folder of the customs motion folder. Click OK. Click Yes again. Successfully exported. For those of you who want to see what 3D Exchange 4 has generated, go to your iClone 4 Customs folder. And in this folder, if you go down to the Characters subfolder, you will see that 3D Exchange 4 created two files, the freak.iAvatar and the freak.ini. And if you open the freak.ini, it's a text file, if you open it with Notepad, you will see that it contains the bone skeleton information for the avatar. And if you go into your motions customs folder, you see that 3D Exchange 4 created a folder called the freak, the same name as the avatar, and in the freak, it put the freak walk iMotion file. You go into your icon application and you will find in your customs character folder the freak that you've just generated. You can load it in and if you right click you will see the performance for the freak walk right here. You can apply this. And there you go. My name is Big Boss. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time. Thank you.